Welcome to The Print House. My name is Jerry Gomes and I am a 27 year old engineer by day. By night, I run an incredible YouTube channel and a fairly successful small scale online 3D printing business. Back in 2008, this is gonna sound kind of crazy, but I feel like I really became an engineer because of the game Roblox. That game really kind of placed me to being an engineer like with building blocks and I actually got the opportunity to program as, as an 11 year old kid and programming really stuck with me and I loved programming which like in my head it just sounds crazy. I got my first 3D printer five years ago and that was uh, a Creality CR30. Right now I have uh, quite a few of the newer Creality printers. I still keep some of my old Ender 3 V2s but I do have uh, a whole bunch of printers from the K-Series lineup, which I absolutely love. My life changed with 3D printing because it allows me to be creative and express that creative freedom in ways that I feel me as an engineer can do that. I was never really one to you know, paint or draw, but with 3D printing, I can find models online and I can see uh, a file go from something digitally to having it in my hands in real life. So another way that 3D printing has affected my life is that I can take problems that I have and I can create solutions for them. And if it's a problem that I have, most likely it's a problem that someone else has as well. And so I've taken that motto and I've actually started online businesses on both eBay and Etsy and I'm able to offer those solutions to other people so that they can fix their problems as well. I feel like Building a YouTube channel or building some kind of an online presence, it's no different from building any other business. And whether you want to consider it a business or a hobby, it's the same concept, right? Like you have to have a drive, a motivation, uh, you have to be dedicated because I love producing content, but it is a lot of work. And a lot of people, they just see the final result at the end. They don't see what goes into it, or I might film a shot five or 10 times, or maybe it takes 15 minutes to set up a two second B-roll clip. So there has to be a, you know, a passion and a dedication to actually produce content. So anyone that wants to get into creating their own online social media presence, whether it's YouTube or Instagram or TikTok, any of these online platforms, I honestly feel like I can relate it very similarly to growing a business. Even if you're not trying to make money at it, it's still the same core concepts. You have to have dedication, you have to have love and passion for the project. Design and manufacturing of 3D printed models is vastly different from any other manufacturing technique. With 3D printing, for instance, you need to be concerned with parameters that are very tricky, like infill percentage or maybe the number of perimeters you use. You might also need to be concerned with the type of material you use like PLA or ABS. They have vastly different properties. So a lot of these tricky parameters and guidelines can be read about online, but until you get hands on and actually learn to 3D print and see what works best, you're never really going to know. So I think 3D printing can apply to almost every industry, whether it's the automotive industry or artists. I think you could even use 3D printing just in your day-to-day -day lives. Uh, but in the commercial world, you could take a 3D design and you could print it out and you could have a working prototype or even a final design in only an hour or two from start to finish. I think many people are fascinated by 3D printing technology because it is so cutting edge. Unfortunately, I think people are simply not attracted to the hobby right now because they don't know enough about it and they don't know where to learn about it. I believe 3D printing is as popular in the US as it is in other countries, but I think it is still mostly an engineer-centric market. And I think that's because mostly people don't believe they have the capacity to learn 3D printing. It's much easier with the latest generation of 3D printing technology, but it's still hard for people to grasp if they're not focused on the technology. I really admire Crowley's goal to bring 3D printing to everyone, making it easier for people of all ages and skill sets. When I started 3D printing five years ago, it was really difficult to get into the hobby unless you had a technical background, but now with so many resources available, it really lowers the barrier to entry and allows users to chase their creative freedoms. Most printers in the same price category lack important features like a good screen or easy to understand firmware. But Crowdy's has all of that. 
So one of the great things that I think about Creality is that for the price, they have some of the best possible 3D printers on the market. And I'm super excited about the K2 Plus with the CFS, allowing you to print models in multiple colors all at once. So I have quite a few projects that I've worked on in my uh, professional 3D printing career, but one of the ones that I love the most is actually a capsule that mounts directly into a very expensive automatic lawnmower. The automatic lawnmower can mow when you're at home or away, or you could be out of the country and the mower can still be cutting your grass. But the sad thing is that it can be stolen and this capsule that I designed, it flushly mounts into the mower and you can store a GPS tracker. So if someone does happen to steal it, you can track the mower. But the great thing is that this is all 3D printed and it's custom for the mower. So it looks like it came from the factory just like that. Throughout my whole life, I have always loved technology. 